Good night, Ned. Sweet dreams, honey. Something! No! 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 Wow! Thank goodness I'm awake. If I could be anyone in the whole world, I would be Clara Barton. She healed the sick and brought modern medical practices to the battlefields of the Civil War. I would be Abraham Lincoln, because he believed in freedom for all people. William Shakespeare, because he really had a way with, uh, with, um, Words! <laughs> if I could be anyone in the world, I would be Florence Henderson, because she is the world's greatest TV mom. And she's always happy, and her hair is stylish and perfect all the time, and she makes great fried chicken, and she always says the right thing, even if it's not what you want to hear right then. Oh yeah, and she's a good actress, too. Ned? What? What? It's your turn, Ned. Did you see what happened to my kid yesterday? He came back, he's like all crying, he had to go home. <laughs> if I could be anyone in the world, I would be Garpulon! The monster from the deep! because my massive size and terrifying strength would make me the most powerful entity in the universe! <laughs> and nobody would even dare laugh at me, because I can kick everyone's butt! <laughs> Captain, I think there is an unusual blip on my radar. Hmm. Oh, great Neptune man, what is it? I don't know, but it is moving! Oh! 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 It's P. 
payback time. Catherine? Here. Gilbert? Here. Michelle? Here. Samson? Here. Bonnie? Here. Ned? 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 Oh. Here. A monster! Ah! <laughs> 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 I am Gorpulon. Behold my mighty power and strength. Attention, Gorpulon. Attention, Gorpulon. This is Principal Schneider speaking. I order you to leave the school premises immediately and in an orderly fashion. No! <laughs> what do you want? For the love of Mike, man, what do you want? I'm sick of all the kids laughing and making fun of me. Kids? What kids? Karen, Gilbert, Samson, all of them! Those kids? They're all expelled. Yay! Expelled? Just like that? <laughs> sure. Uh... The food in the cafeteria is awful. The chef's expelled. Yay! And Miss Bunt won't let me sleep in class. Say no more. She just took early retirement. Yay! And the bus. I hate riding the bus. Huh? Oh, no. Not again, dude. Now you've gone too far, Buster Brown. That school property, I don't care if you are 30 stories high, that's a week's detention. I wonder what charred principal tastes like. Hear this, Scorpulon. Your behavior has no place in a nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. And Shakespeare, too! Oh, that figures. Hark! Nigh cometh to bury yon Gorpulon, not to praise him. Well put, Bill. Now, with malice towards none and charity for all, let's kick some monster butt. Whoa! Give me your worst, Dave. Here it comes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Now you ask for it, Confederate dog! Take that, honest Dave! Huh? A house divided against itself cannot stand. To be or not to be? Eh, Billy? Vile monster! Thy stench doth offend me! Ha ha ha! I am all powerful! No one can laugh at me now! Huh? Lawrence Henderson? I am disappointed in you, Ned. You've been bad. I'm sorry, Miss Henderson. I just wanted everyone to stop laughing and calling me names. Now, now, now. Sticks and stones may break our bones, but names will never hurt us. But 
Ned, you can't get respect by pushing people around and breathing fire on them. If people laugh at you, you just have to laugh with them and show them that you are the bigger person. <sighs> You're right. I'll never destroy a city again. Well, thanks for the advice. Bye. Just a minute, young man. There's still the issue of your punishment. Punishment? Oh, yes, Ned. It wouldn't be fair to your brothers and sisters if I didn't punish you. What brothers and sisters? Hold oh, still, Ned Araya. Yow! Ned, is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? I'd, uh, like to give my report again, please. Fine. <clears throat> If I could be anyone in the whole world, I would be me. <laughs> the hideous planet eating monster pursues Rick Rocket. Rick has only one shot left in his blaster. He could save only one companion, his faithful dog Spot or his beautiful girlfriend. Which shall it be? Ah, the answer's so obvious. Save the dog. Hey, Ned. Got a minute for your old dad? Uh, yeah, Dad. Come on in. I was just studying, uh... American Revolution, big history test tomorrow. This'll just take a second. Look what I found in the basement. You know, Ned, a couple more days down there without food, and all your aunts would have died. Well, that would have been a tragedy. You mean, you don't like the... Oh, I see. I understand, son. Ah. Uh. Gee, Dad, I like the ant ranch. I just misplaced it. Of course you like it. There's not a boy in the whole wide world who doesn't love the ant ranch. Why, when I was your age, I was an official member of the Junior Ant Ranchers of America. Now behold the splendor of the mighty and glorious ant. <laughs> Dad, they seem kind of violent. <gasps> Listen to what you just said. Ants have the perfect society. They toil together with but one common goal. And is it for the love of money? Nay, but for the love of their queen. Imagine all those hearts and minds marching toward one ideal. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 It's wonderful, Ned. Nothing goes to waste. Dad? Ned! 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 I thought I'd lost you. Dad, we gotta get out of here. What? Leave paradise? Ah, oh, look around you, Ned. Everything in order. Everything incredibly clean. Why, you could eat off this filth. In fact, I think I will. Yeah, Dad. The dirt here is wonderful. It's the ants I'm worried about. Dad, we gotta hide. Ned, 
What have I told you about disturbing me while I'm eating? Dad, we got to hide. Ned, don't make me have to raise my voice. Get down. Look. I was born a worker and I work all day. Inspiring, aren't they? I was born a worker ant, and I'll move these rocks till I die. Hail, hail, our glorious queen, the grooviest queen that I've ever seen. Hail, hail, hey, Dad! Glorious... You forgot your banana! Hey, come back here with that! Come back here, you little rascal! <laughs> oh well. All hail the Queen! Dad? Dad? Where are you? Over here, son. We're just in time for lunch. Here, I got an extra plate. Sorry. It's just that... What? What are you so fired up to say? What's so darn important? Well, it's just... This place is terrible. How could you stand this kind of life? Oh, young ants nowadays. Always want to turn the ranch upside down. I suppose you could do a better job of running things on the queen, huh? Enough that the dirt is in order and you get your three squares a day. No, you'd rather be a roach, all oh, crazy and free. I'm proud to say I've lived a life of mindless conformity. And when I die, I'll receive my just reward. <laughs> Marry me, oh beautiful queen. Next. Wow, what an excellent opportunity to study nature and all its wonder. Son, here's a beautiful example of a queen ant's abdomen. Each hair a highly acute sensory device. Why, if I were to snip off this hair, it would cause excruciating pain. Like this. Wow! See how quickly she reacts? Hey! Aren't you forgetting something? Queen, meet Ned, my son. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you said he was your son. He is. I am. No, 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 he can't be your son. If he were your son, that would mean you're, well, you know. Mary. Mary? Mary. 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 Mary! Freedom? freedom? Freedom. What is freedom? Uh, you know, freedom. Like freedom from being forced to move back-breaking boulders from hill A over to hill B and back to hill A again. Oh. Did Benjamin Franklin cross the Delaware in 1492?
to so that his brother Ant should be shackled by a ruthless despot? No, I say no! On that fateful morning of December 7th, 1941, at the Boston Tea Party, Abraham Lincoln spoke these immortal words. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers guaranteed the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Do you want liberty? Yes! Do you want happiness? Yes! I say give me liberty or give me death. Did I ever tell you about the bees? Thank you. 